How are you there guys and welcome back to Edgar TV for a darts video diary that starts here in the Zachary Mobile as we're going over to Belgium to take part in the Belgian Open and the Antwerp Open taking place in Belgium believe it or not and it actually starts with a bit of a sour note actually because unfortunately this morning I am suffering with flatulence and Zach is probably going to need to have a shower by the time we get there it's been that bad hasn't it so, I've smelt more egg now than I ever have in my life. Slap. Standard man. And I would apologise about things like the camera bouncing around and stuff, but unfortunately on these video diaries when we're out on the road, you're going to have to get used to it. So why Zach did in fact get used to that, I was playing a little bit of football manager before, a bit of a ropey sea ride over. It was a little bit better. I took out time to have a bit of a walk because when you get a little bit seasick, you get a bit warm, but as we're getting closer to France into Dunkirk, you can see that it started to calm down a bit, but certainly coming out of Dover, it was a little bit choppy. I also noticed this sign over here that says, drain operating, do not cover or obstruct, and then they've covered it up with loads of bins and stuff, so they're not even following their own signs. Back on the road again though, and back to some football manager, I did manage to take Peterborough up to the championship, and we're currently on with that, so maybe the next video diary, you'll find out how that one goes, and an opportunity to try the local sweets, I went into the garage, got some, I know Harry Bow's not local sweets to Belgium, it's just a joke I make about trying the local cuisine, like I always get a McDonald's for example, and say it's a local cuisine, but I did get some Belgium chocolates, courtesy of Jimmy from Darts Fun, who left them next to my bed for my arrival. 12 o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm still in bed, I'm going to have to get up and do some work in a minute because there's some meetings on, but this is a very rarity for me, just being able to lay in bed, I'm actually quite enjoying having a bit of nothing just playing a game but it's a football manager it's quite nice i probably should have mentioned that actually we've come over a couple of days early and it was just to prepare and to do a couple of jobs a couple of coaching seminars and sessions and different bits but watching the super series getting a bit of a practice in as well being champions week the super series you have to see what's going on down there opportunity as well to get some meetings done and you're going to find out what these meetings are about very soon, actually. There's going to be some really interesting stuff coming out off the back of these ones. Make sure you subscribe to Edgar TV. You will love some of these announcements that we have been working on. Good opportunity as well to come on and play subscribers. Get opportunity here to get Zachary on board as well presenting the show some naughty darts and I'll be doing these as well so there'll be plenty more opportunities to come on and play me on these so do make sure you are subscribed and you'll see that when you're away you get some funky setups we've got a camera on a shoebox, camera on a cat stand all sorts of different bits but it was mostly for me a day of rest and happy darty day guys it's time for the first day of the Belgium Open actually playing today Zach played last night in the pairs didn't you Zach? I did yeah how did it go? <laughs> yeah, uh, came second, didn't you, Zach? Yeah, yeah, second. Well, of the first round. Yeah, we we lost twice, uh, but it was good fun. Played all right, just lost. Yeah, it was good. And it's not even been that warm here in Belgium, but somehow, look what's happened to my sweets. So here's the Harry bow. You see here, you can tell where the foamy ones was, like the hearts and the the eggs. But what on earth? Like it's not even been that warm. It's it's been raining most of the time, and somehow my sweets have managed to merge into what could only be classed as one sweet now. Do you want to try some, Zach? <laughs> Absolutely not. I reckon that'd be quite nice, you know. How do you even eat it? Well, you might find out later. <laughs> could, could be uh, whoever loses first has to eat that. Oh, yeah, great. <laughs> We got to the venue nice and early, as always, I say preparation is absolutely key in these sort of events. However, the event started at 10 o'clock. The doors didn't open till 9, which I found a little bit surprising, especially with the amount of people that had to register and the practice and preparation that went into these. But you'll see here, 
massive massive attendance and i quite like these player cards that they give you so it tells you what time you're expected to be on and you need to be there 15 minutes before your scheduled time to let them know so no announcements like they used to in the old days so no distractions there in terms of those calls out from the microphone so a good improvement here from what i know of these sort of events but plenty of games of darts here for me getting through to the final of this one it was quite a long day about 10 hours in total in order to get through to that final game did play some good players along the way had some good games didn't feel overly comfortable throughout the day but kept doing the right things at the right moments and that set me up a final against wesley plezier the reigning world masters champion and this one was up on the stage this was streamed so the sort of environment i'd normally enjoy and thrive up in and I, I felt i had plenty of opportunities in this game there was a shot or double every leg i was certainly down there first but just missing those sort of key moments and those key opportunities the game is available i believe on the wdf page if you want to go back and watch that and you'll see exactly what i mean it wasn't much it was a dart here and a dart there and it's a runners-up trophy for me on this occasion and i'm trying to smile i'm trying to be happy with that situation which i think is what i tell the photographers here at the end as well but i really want to win i want titles titles I think that's the thing as well when I'm doing these WF events. It is all about titles. It's all about winning. It's all about those trophies. That's what I want from this journey. And obviously a position at Lakeside as well. I'd love to go there and potentially end this journey there. But really good city and work. We went in after the final. Like I said, 10 hours of darts. Didn't finish till late. So didn't get much opportunity to get some food. So we went round and sampled a bit of the local cuisine really nice pizza actually i went down with zach and dom and i can't remember actually what i'm asking zach here i probably should have left the sound on here so you could hear him rather than my voiceover but got back and do you know what on reflection when you take a look at the trophy ugh, you can kind of have a bit of a smile in the end and say not a bad day and certainly a lot of ranking points on the board as well Day two, travelling down, a little bit worse for wear this morning, it has to be said. I had a long day yesterday, about 10 hours, and as you know, I'm not fully fit at the moment, but to, to get another final in just, well, three ranking events in 12 months, we're happy with that. How have you got on yesterday, Zach? Well, my first game, because they didn't turn up. <laughs> they must have been scared. I was throwing well. Um, but I just didn't win. So what, what do you think they were scared of? Was it your incredible dart prowess or yeah. the fact you're a phys physical specimen of a yeah, man? Yeah, I think the sheer size of me um, probably played a part. Um, but so I don't want any of that, lad. Yeah, yeah. Maybe they saw me practicing and thought, wow, this guy is big. I would ask him to treat you to a flex, but unfortunately he's got a big jumper on. Yeah, it's just to keep me in. So you're not going to be able to see it today, but maybe later. Maybe when he wins it. He'll give it the full on Gerwin price. And it's actually raining as well today, which means not much outside time. And if you've been following my story and my journey, you'll know the things I've been going through in terms of the injuries. But before we get to that, when we talk about the size, look at the size difference here the Gorilla and the Thornton. We talk about those sizes, but it. it I, I almost feel like maybe I shouldn't have even played. Uh, the, the competitor inside of me wanted to play and wanted to go and do it today. And there's not much footage of the action because there weren't really that much action. And to be honest with you, when I look back on the match and how it went and how it all felt, I had no feeling of the dart in the hand again. This was something I mentioned in Iceland, but it actually got going as the day went on because it was like a round robin phase and sort of a few rounds in it started being okay again. But this has sort of been an ongoing problem for me. While well, I've already booked in treatment now, moving forward for next week in order to try and get back on track. I've also seen that I've spelt review wrong, but just pretend it's fine. But in terms of that game, I, the best way to describe the action would have been I felt embarrassed during that game because when I, I missed the board throwing, I, I was throwing for big numbers and missing by two or three segments. Uh, I wanted single one and I hit tops up by double five. Then I hit treble AT. I was just busted. I just couldn't hit a single one. And yeah, I, I didn't enjoy the game. I, I, at one point, I felt like conceding the game, but I thought, no, just see it through. Like, don't 
don't start going down that road just just fight till it till it's done and it just it's interesting and this is why these video diaries are going to be really interesting because if i would have made this video diary at the end of yesterday been quite encouraged if i made it right now i'd say oh i'm not sure where this goes so it's going to be really interesting i've got to get back onto that treatment get that going and get that moving and then hopefully in a month's time i can have another go at a tournament and maybe pick up some more ranking points my goal is to go and make lakeside but i can't take on the full-time schedule which i've said before and maybe one thing i can't do at the minute as well is play if i do really well on one day i can't play the second day as well because 10 hours is a lot of time for me to be playing and then to have to try and do it the next day as well so all in all though, really, really successful trip. And this is going to be an interesting journey for many reasons. This just ain't about darts. This is about managing this and seeing if I can pull all this together. But I have done three WDF events this year. Iceland, I went to Wales for one day, and I've done Belgium. And we already have two trophies now going into the trophy cabinet. I want more. I want more. I'm going to do whatever I can to get more. And I'm going to keep going. Treatment first, hopefully in a month's time, we'll be going to Spain, to Catalonia, in Barcelona, getting a third trophy on the shelf. Catch you soon, guys, with some more Edgar TV. Edgar TV.